I'll try and appraise the gems himself, see if he can get an idea of how to split it. Okay, make a untrained appraise roll. <laughs> it occurs to you that maybe finding someone with you who has more experience than you in these matters might be helpful. Yeah, has skills. Perhaps one of our new friends knows more about the market value of these gems currently. So, uh, he starts putting them back in the bags. He trust any of them. As the soda crosses his arms and sighs, and he says. I think I'm going to have to. That Mordred young fellow said he works with with Hanzo von Wick. Yeah. He's got some sort of connection there. Uh, the family, Delisandra. It's old. I recognize the name from some of my texts that I read back home. I'm not sure what his angle is yet entirely, but it's something he's about competent. trading routes. Yeah, he's competent. And similar to what um, the Sword Lord, the silly fop that's ill said. He was talking about a trade route. Yeah. Figure it might be useful to bring him in. Maybe. So, uh, he's some kind of magic user as well. Yeah. He's indispensable. Of, yeah, indispensable in the fight. He, uh, something about summoning devils. It's quite the sight. And uh, Hastis puts the jams back, and then he'll walk out and go look for Mordred. Okay. Probably finds him in his tent. He's not too far off from the command center, quote unquote. Yeah. Hoi, Mordred. Yes. How much do you know about gemstones? I know some. What do you need to know? Market value. Did you join me? Sure, I can attempt it. Has to salute him back to the tent. Which is decently sized, but still a tent. Mm. And of course, there's that giant pillow in the corner, which clashes with the rest of the design, rest of the Spartan design. Mm. Uh, That's a huge pillow, Mordred. That's like big enough for someone to sleep on. Seems and, like someone uh, fancy lives here. <laughs> seems like he's slightly covered in hair. <laughs> he says, don't touch the pillow. As he walks over to the table and lays out some of the gems. I dream of it. So. Uh, right. Gemstones. A lot of gems. I do have a praise. I uh, I have it. I have one rank in it. Um, I'm not sure if it's one of those skills where you can take a twenty or something on, though. Yeah, if you've got long enough. Um, well, we're not being rushed, so I, I could take some a good bit of time to study them. Has to still uh, sit there with Mordred, and I'll probably converse a bit. Okay. I don't know if my skill of being a, a lawyer would uh, also give me some insight on uh, proper uh, pay rates for uh, good troops, but if I can do that, that would also be uh, something he would comment on. Yeah. Astus says about that how um, all this unexpected fighting has caused a bit of a pay caused a bit of a payday disruption. And I'll ask Mordred more about that trade route and how he plans to notify people that this is where to come. 
or if there's some other situation he's got going on. I believe that was going to be managed by my father and the Lord Montwit. I'm mostly for the security of the uh, the trade routes, actually. I see. That is also my job, apparently. So it seems like it would be it would uh, it would do us credit to work together. Agreed. I believe that was the intention. I think that feeding your people is going to be the most important thing right now before we get to the security parts of things. After all, if we can't feed our troops, then we can't hardly protect anything. Indeed. My uh, associate, she has to look like he's choosing his words very carefully. I'll go ahead and roll, uh, but if I can like take a 10 or a 20 or something, I'll go ahead and just do that. So what? So what's this for? Huh. Praise. Huh. You don't need to. Okay. Very good. Uh... Okay. Hestus, um, Hestus asked Mordred, um, what he's getting out of this personally. Uh, within this purse, something between 20 and 25,000 gold. It's a small fortune, actually. Hmm. And then, uh, Hestus says, although I think you may have misheard me, I was asking what, uh, what you're getting out of this adventure personally. Um, my family is getting a measure of the uh, profits that are going to be made out of the trade routes from uh, Mr. Von Witt. And given that we uh, could use the extra coin as well as uh, some contacts abroad, that has been quite useful to us. Hestus nods. Considering this um, this place's location uh, as a crossroads, as well as a safe haven for those coming up from the south and from the east and west, as soon as it stops being a terrible pit of loneliness and other horrible emotions, I think we might actually stand to gain quite a bit. Well, I certainly will be looking forward to uh, helping to make it a better place to live, for sure. So you say this is about twenty to 25,000 gold? Indeed. Hmm. Ah, yes. That has to sweeps the gems back into the bag and puts it back in his pa and puts it back in his pack. He says, I have another thing I wished you to look at. Mm. And uh, he walks over to the giant pillow and lifts it up, and underneath is a hole, and in the hole is a sack. He grabs the sack, which is heavy with coin, and he brings it over to the table, fishes out that coin that was in his pocket, and tosses it back in the bag, and he says, I'm quite certain these are cursed coins. Hmm. Or at least they have some sort of ensorcelment, which lets a Brevik spymaster follow those who have them. I can take a look. Uh, I'll cast Detect Magic on these coins, see if there's any sort of magical aura about them. Uh, I'll focus in on it, see if I can determine what kind of school of magic it might be. Um, I won't make my percep my spellcraft check yet, but... Uh, 
I believe that your assumption was right. This is indeed a, a, a divination aura about these coins, with certainly uh, scrying as uh, part of the school that is involved. And I have. Welcome back. This time with caffeine. Just thinks that he probably shouldn't have been carrying that coin around, and Amalai was full of crap. It would likely be best to uh, either remove these coins or possibly uh, try to deceive them in some way, although what way that would be, at the moment I cannot think of it. I suppose I'll have to find somewhere distant and bury it. Mm. No, I'm not there. I can't comment. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Asa says, well, good to get that sorted out. Um, the good Lady Von Witt received these as payment for a flying device she created. seems that uh, someone had the intent on tracking down where, how and where she made it. That's just an odds. Well, I suppose I'll have to address my troops soon. As soon as I get back from burying these, I guess. I can certainly uh, be here when you do. Uh, glad to be of service. That's just nods. See you later. Good day. As you guys leave the tent, you would probably see two massive heaps of dead bunnies just sitting in the middle of the area. There are dozens of dead uh, wild hares being piled up into a small mountain. Um, there's a uh, uh, you see um, uh, Dastilus and Corian uh, laughing, and uh, Corian is even kind of clapping. Um, and uh, notice kind of quite a few hungry faces looking longingly at the pile. 
Uh, on top one of the piles stands Styx, and he is attempting attempting to juggle the dead bodies of these things, and most likely failing. From several hundred feet away, mm -hmm. a centaur could shoot you <laughs> with a large sized longbow. You, it's surprisingly hard to shoot me. <laughs> Um. Cass just walks over to this site. What? He asks no one in particular. Oh, Hello. we went hunting! Hello. Me and Wiki went hunting. We got found a lot of these things. You really should look for food a lot more carefully. It's literally everywhere. <laughs> End of this part. <laughs> so, great. Thank you very much. So, what would I will for bunny jungle juggling? What would you roll for bunny juggling? Okay. Uh, okay. Slide of hand. Yeah, sleight of hand would seem to be reasonable. Maybe perform. I don't know. Is there a perform juggle? <laughs> <laughs> I got a 20. There we go. Um... A small crowd gathers round to admire the uh, dexterous skills uh, of uh, of the two halflings. Probably, if this was rest of uh, Six and Ricky, could expect uh, uh, coins to be thrown their way. But this seems to be a, 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 an enthusiastic crowd, to be sure, but ones uh, that are somewhat tight with their pennies. Well, after I finish slinging all the blood from the buddies onto the crowd while I'm juggling these, I just put them down, take a little bow, and hold uh, yeah, There's definitely uh, some applause. Um, one moment, guys. So are there multiple types of perform? Or what? Like there's like... Profession? As oh. many as the professions, basically. And how do I add multiple to the... Oh, right. At the top of the page in skills, there should be number of craft perform profession skills to show. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't getting that in my in the other sheet. No wonder I couldn't see them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fine art of bunny juggling. Alright. I need to figure out where I'm putting my uh, ranks and everything now that actually the skills are going to be working properly. Mm -hmm. Perform bunny juggling. It's the only skill you need. But it's somewhat niche -y. Just slightly niche -y. Well, I'll probably take perform all right, considering I'm most of my um, traits and whatnot <coughs> into that directly. All right, so so um so um, Mordred. What was yeah. That? I described the um, you um you you I believe have been into um the second of the pavilion tents and had a discourse with uh, with uh, the mercenary leader Hastus and uh what now are indeed looking for a suitable patch to uh, carve out for yourself. Yeah. Um I'm going to see what uh Maybe the Iron Wings might have available as far as tents and maybe some like simple furniture like 
chests and uh, just a table and some beds, like hammocks. Okay. Um, well, uh, Fior is there. Um, uh, he's been chatting to a couple of uh, the other men um, mm. who you notice are looking much happier after he's briefly spoken to them. You don't know what was exchanged, but whatever it was clearly pleased them. Um, and he comes paid. <laughs> May very well indeed be that. Um, <clears throat> and um, he spies you and uh, and uh, the Dane, your your cohort, Dame Alendia. Mm-hmm. And he says, uh, Ma, how can I help you? I'm looking to uh, set up a place for me to uh, enjoy some uh, respite and to, for the night. Uh, I was hoping you might have some tents, maybe some simple furnishings. I need nothing luxurious. Uh, just maybe some hammocks and a table. Yeah. <laughs> Luxury here, not really. <laughs> well, I figured. But... Uh... Maybe I could find you um, a corner space by the wall. Mm. Closer to the command center uh, is better, but whatever spot is available, I suppose. Mm. We like to keep the area there clear. Understandable. No cover. But you'll be all right in the corner. Yeah? I should be. Uh, I will make the space for you. And he goes off in the the direction of um, one of the corners. uh, Starts um, uh, applying a judicial foot to a lean to and uh, and uh, uh, is about to be challenged um, by a middle-aged man uh, for so doing, and then he spots who it is he's talking to and decides to keep his own counsel on this occasion. A couple of the other mercenaries help him out, and he clears up. Uh, a reasonably sized spot for you in the corner, as he said. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, uh, I ask if he has any like tents available or something that I can put up there. Ah, you think uh, they're not being used? I wasn't entirely sh- wasn't entirely sure. Mm. Figured I'd ask. <clears throat> Uh, maybe you could buy one I have some coin I could what sort of price were we talking Mm. I don't know yet it is not my tent but I will ask how much you offer. Mm, I do want a good, uh, decently sized tent, although. Uh, let's see. <coughs> I'm willing to offer 40 gold pieces for uh, a decently sized tent for myself and my, from my uh, companion here. Forty. Indeed. Mm. Ma, Ma will ask. But Theo thinks you may have to dig deeper into your purse. <laughs> I I don't see many options for the seller. No. I'm willing to barter the price. I will ask, as I said, 
Hmm. Anything else? Um, aside from a few hammocks and uh, maybe a table, no. I think uh, that should be all. Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh, just in case there is trouble, <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. you and he uh, gestures to uh, Dame hmm. and then, yeah. You know how to use that? He points the, head, the sword in her shoe. Uh, she she gives a, a, a nod, kind of doesn't say anything, just nods. Nice armor. Thank you. You. Put up, we, you we put at the front if there is trouble, I think. Very well. Mm. What about him? Can he do anything? Uh, is he referring to Mordred? He is. <clears throat> okay. Um, Master Alessandra is a conjurer. He will be of some use to you, perhaps. He is arcane? Indeed. Yeah. We have such as him in the in the Iron Wings. Phil knows. He stays at the back. Very useful, very squishy. Don't I know it. Mm. Night, I will see if I can get you, what I can get you for your faulty gold. If the buyer seems to be, if the, the seller seems to be, uh, rather resistant, then I will offer a, a higher price of perhaps 70 or 80. But why, why would they be resistant? Are there not plenty of other places they can buy tents here? I do not know. I've only just arrived. Ah, I have been here a while, and I can tell you, there is nowhere else to buy tents. <laughs> I figured as much. Hmm. <clears throat> I will let them I will let you know if I find anyone. Thank you. Mm. The brewer has a a, a, a good sized tent, but the men and I are waiting for him to produce what he has promised. And then if it is disappointing, then perhaps his tent becomes available, no? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Yeah, I go now. Of course, I'll be here. Yes. Um. So, in terms of description of Theor, he's about six foot three. Uh fairly broad. He has a uh, a symbol of Gorum around his neck. Um, and a bow over his shoulder. Not my choice of deity, but I suppose everyone will have what they will. Uh, hmm. While he's there, Mordred just kind of like scans and kind of studies the area and just kind of sits there calculating. He's basically trying to formulate some plan of organization that he could suggest to Hastus, and therefore he's uh, just kind of like studying the, the layout and the people and uh, just looking how to distribute things like properly rather than a chaotic mess that it is so um 
Yeah, I mean, I, uh, you know, it, it probably wouldn't be so bad if if these kind of five to six dozen people were actually kind of, you know, wilderness people. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but they are clearly having difficulty adjusting to the new realities uh, at, right. at their disposal. Um, uh, although from the stench, uh, uh, almost just sorting you, your senses from the latrine pit, um, the use of that, they seem to have got the hang of quite quickly. Uh, I suppose not everyone can be as flexible as the glorious family de Lissandra. No, uh, you do spot um, uh, one of your uh, short companions. Uh, this one, um, not not as an adept, uh, a, a juggler of uh, <coughs> of hairs, um, but nevertheless is wearing a garb. Uh, Certainly, that denotes uh, uh, a life of substance. Hmm. Interesting note, but uh, I'm certainly not going to steal from him or anything. That's definitely not my intent. Hmm. Julian. Yes. Uh, so, I have described the scene. Um, uh, however unpleasant it is for a human, let me assure you, it is possibly worse for a halfling. Um, because you have to add uh, to the fact that, of course, everything is slightly out of size. Yes. Um, uh, you're a bit more... Uh, familiar with the ground, um, which is um, getting churned up, it is fair to say. Um, You imagine that the next time there's rain, this is going to be a bit of a mud bowl. Um, We'll endeavour to stay here as little time as is possible. Mm. Um... uh, your senses are assaulted from the sound of uh, the occasional um, uh, child crying, um, a wife being beaten by presumably her husband, a couple of men rowing over cards or dice, all of which is fairly standard. Did you say cards or dice? I did. Um, fairly standard for a, 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 a city fellow as yourself. Um, but um, not quite uh, the, the sort of the environment that you find yourself planted in uh, adds a certain um, something to, mm. uh, to these uh, otherwise familiar sensations. Um, you don't see any evidence of cooking, which strikes you as a little surprising. <laughs> no evidence of cooking. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Sorry about being late. <laughs> What are we up to? Things. Um, uh, what I'm still trying to get my head around is why are we in this place currently? So this is um, this is the safe place that has to um. Uh, Suggest he was nearby. That um, quote unquote. <laughs> safe, safe, such a crowded place. Yes, yeah. uh, that um, uh, Lucio could be taken to. 
uh, that was uh, certainly felt safer than the fort, which um, certainly a couple of you felt nervous at hanging about. Okay. Um, you have to say, looking around you, <laughs> um, uh, you, you, you have some doubts. But, um, yeah, fair enough. But then you're not a military man. So. No. Um, yeah, so... Hasia, so... Hasia has been able to acquire a tent, or is attempting to acquire a tent. A tent. <laughs> I will... Does Julian have a tent? Well, Julian would have whatever he was provided with. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to actually do full inventory of what I have, so... So I guess the question is, does it seem likely that Julian would have carried Possibly not. The flip side of that, though, is that there were um, there were some tents and hammocks available at the fort. So yes, at the fort, I would have, having known that this was going to be going for a while, I would have picked up and stored tents and sleeping equipment. Now there, now it's all pretty small stuff, though. It won't kind of it well, won't the... give Mordred what he's after, but um, but for the purposes of Julian then yeah. it's perfectly adequate. So I will attempt to find a corner, preferably away from any doors or... Uh, there are no doors. Or windows, yes. A corner. <laughs> so the only corner that looks good is the one you can see that's just been cleared for Mordred. Uh, and his bodyguard. Um, all of the other corners look stacked. One of them looks dominated by a series of shacks, um, out of which you can hear the sounds of bubbling and see some steam rising. Mm. And quite a sharp uh, smell. Uh, assailing your nostrils and not just the latrines touch. <clears throat> uh, I'm half tempted to camp outside this because we came through a set of walls, didn't we? Or am I just making? We came it? through uh, a, a effectively a gap in the wall that at some point could have a door put across it, but it doesn't look nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to find a space, and if, and if no space can be immediately found, I attempt to convince someone to make a small space for me, for I am not a very, I do not require much space, and I can provide entertainment. Okay, so <clears throat> with whom do you intend to have this conversation? At the, apart from the corner that Mordred's just taken, two of them are ridiculously crowded. The one other corner looks like the brewer has mostly to himself. I'll go up to the brewer. <laughs> okay. And I will say, good man, what are you... What are you current? What is it you are currently got brewing? A fairly large, rotund man with a beard and kind of a greasy mop of hair comes kind of waddling over his beard, then scratching his stomach. <clears throat> I've told him as well 
Not ready yet. Come back in a couple of days. Oh, I'm not here okay. to bother you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not giving it for free. Excuse me? I said I'm not giving it for free. I already told them soldiers. I'm not with the soldiers, and I'm not here to pester you as to the timings of your brewing. So what are you here for, then? Some space, actually. Potentially a little company. Are you trying to sell to me, boy? Now, hang on, you're a half. <laughs> what, well, what, what are you going about? My name is Julian Alfred, and I am a well known singer. Never heard of you. I'm sorry. Um, well, what do you want? In... Some... Your corner seems to be the least occupied. I want to be able to pitch up my tent. I'm sure you do. Lots that want to pitch their tent here. Thing is, I've got an agreement with the soldiers. This is mine. To clear off. Perhaps I could keep you entertained while you work in exchange for a small space. You got a female run as well? No, just me. Don't see how you keep me insane then. What, what, what can you do anyway? They look like some fine clothes for a, a little run like you. I produce my Leah and I strike up this. And I'd roll if any of my rolls were actually working, but... <laughs> we will assume that it is more than adequate. Nah, not bad. That's a scratch your stomach again. Well, you we can play. So how about it? A place to, to pitch up a tent and in exchange I keep you entertained while you work. And if this ever clears out, just know that you have Yeah, whatever. So, all right, this is what we're going to do. So, just know that you have ready. a friend with the series. And I go to serve, you're going to do your playing thing. Exactly. All right. Now I'm busy. Don't get underfoot. Might have some jobs to you, for you in a bit. But right now, it's at a delicate stage. He wanders it. <laughs> Lifts one leg. Parts profusely. Puts the leg down. Continues on. What a fella. Yes, well. I strike up something more that you tend to find in the sort of ale houses and that sort of thing. Not so much high society. You certainly found a level, that's for sure.
Uh, meanwhile, Sticks and Ricky. Oh. You have a few children. You've attracted the attention of a few children. Looking at the children, Ricky is going to... Uh, actually, Sticks is gonna look around and is there something particularly shiny in the area? It doesn't have to be valuable, just shiny. No. No. They attempt to hide from the children. I, where you get a hide? I don't know. They're just hiding. Okay, so um, I... they're gonna like find little, like two little twigs and like hold them up into like the bushes. Okay. Do you either roll a bluff check or a stealth? Uh, you get some pointing and laughing. Ah. I don't really know what else to do. Yeah, can we have? Can we have any of them? These these things you you you've been throwing up in the air. Oh, the bunnies. Yeah, they're for the people. We weren't going to keep them for ourselves. The children dive in and basically kind of grab as many as they can carry. And Make rush. sure you cook it before you eat it. You notice that the children all looked dirty, somewhat pale. At least half of them had been beaten at some point or other. I seeing. Like, I'm gonna go, uh, Six is gonna go up to the most bean-looking kid. They're gone. They, you gave them the hair, they, they're gone. They got food. Okay, so... Um, Ricky is going to chase after them. The key word here is chase. Yeah. <laughs> and... Okay. Try to catch up. Okay. Um... Yeah, you could probably catch up to um, to a boy who looks like um, one of his legs is at a slightly funny angle. Um, once they catch up, Ricky's gonna ask. Yeah, what... you said you said you said you said we could we could yeah, have you him. Could. Yeah? I, I I was just wondering, um, what happened to your leg? Uh, um. Fell over. Hasn't been right since. What actually happened to your leg? You can tell me. I was helped to fall over. Hasn't been right since. Look, no, I, I can't get back. You 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 around later? Uh yes. Um, go on off. Take that to your family. Hey, nods and kind of um, strides rather awkwardly off. Um, from a distance they're gonna follow. Okay. He goes to um one of the shacks. Um, there's a, a whoop, uh, uh, from a, a woman inside, and a kind of a grunt from a man. Uh, they both whoop. rush inside. A woman sort of, um, as <clears throat> you come in, there's a woman toss, uh, sort of tussling the boy's hair, clearly in a 
um, sign of affection and uh, um, uh, a man who is uh, uh, fairly swiftly um, gutting and skinning the uh, the three hairs. He turns around when he sees you, bloody knife in his hand. Hey, hello, hello. Hello. Get out. This is our place. Yes. I just had a few questions about... I've noticed some of the children around here had some bruises. I was wondering if you might know where the source of that would be. Well, tell you what, if you come a bit closer, maybe you and the hare can have a little chat about that, eh? I glare at him, using Fortune's flinch to attempt to steal the knife. Okay. Uh, the knife... Um, you look at him, and he sort of takes a step backward, drops the knife. The knife skitters across the floor, and lands at the toe of your boot. All right, so Look, here's the deal. We ain't, we ain't got anything, all right? Oh, no, I'm not here to take anything from you. Look, I'm here to out. make sure that these kids stay safe. You're not the only person I'm going to visit today. Believe me. Now, if I see another bruise on that child that wasn't there from what I've just seen him, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to have a lot of ni not nice words with you. I don't like seeing children hurt. Thirty-eight for intimidate. You always have soldiers, aren't you? Can you just say that again and catch that? That you always have soldiers, aren't you? Don't worry, I'll lay off a kid. Not mine anyway. It'll run. I get that it's hard times, but be sure not to bring out any of your hate and aggression for your situation out on these children. Uh, yeah. Expe know your wife. I look over at the wife. Is she okay? Hmm. <clears throat> She's as okay as any of this lot are. Huh. Does she look like she's been being or...? Not visibly. Alright. A man who beats a child is not a man at all. Look, you said your, your thing, just get out. No, I'm going to stand here until I get reassurance from you that you're not going to do this again. I told and once you I ha I'm sure that you understand what I'm saying, then I know Look, I that if you refuse to do this, then I can come back and have reasons to not leave as peacefully. I don't have to listen to this shit. <clears throat> he um, pulls a drape across and goes to leave. And whenever he starts walking out, I'm going to use Hazard right in front of him. <laughs> um, probably too busy looking over his shoulder. Um, uh, he manages to plant uh, his foot in a pile of excrement, slips over, and falls on his ass. 
Coma's a bitch. I'll get you, you little run. I highly I doubt that. It's a stream of profanities that drifts off into the distance. And at this point, I'm going to go find Hastus. Okay. Which then brings us neatly to Hastus. Okay. Lord of all he surveys. <clears throat> it's not a very good pile of survey. Yes, indeed. 